up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. I'm going to focus in on the uh, Boston Bruins signing Zane McIntyre, formerly Zane Gothberg, who they drafted back in 2010, uh, back in that great 2010 draft that yielded the Bruins a young guy named Tyler Sagan and another guy named Ryan Spooner. Um, you know, I, McIntyre took his time and developed at Dakota. Played two years in the USHL after getting drafted, and then uh, you know took his talents to Dakota for three seasons. You know, was one of the best players in college hockey the last two years. You know, really on a great uh, couple of great Dakota teams, and you know took him to Frozen Four this year as again one of the you know top goal centers in college hockey. You know, big kid, six foot three, two hundred ten pounds. Uh, you know, I look for him to play in Providence next year. Um, with Subban, you know, it, right of the Bruins don't get a veteran backup. Right of the Bruins get a back, a veteran backup. Excuse me. Um, if they do not do that, then um, you know, so maybe Subban backs up Tuka, and uh, you know, McIntyre gets the bulk of the starts in Providence. I think either way, it's a good develop model. You know, the Bruins have depth at the goaltender position, which is something they haven't had throughout their history. Trust me, you know, when you when you live through the uh, the Andrew Raycroft and the Byron Defoe days. You don't actually Raycroft from that. I want to call the trophy, but you know the uh, in between Chivas and Tim Thomas, there were some real low points uh, in those you know interceding 35 years. So you know again, definitely great to see. You know this is a position where the Bruins have a you know Vesna winner as a starter, and then you know two really good young prospects that you know can develop into something special down the line. Um, you know, he could have become a free agent this year. I think he actually technically could have become a free agent last year as well. Um, so, you know, the fact that Bruins are able to retain his rights. They drafted him in the sixth round in 2010. I mean, you know, that's saying something about their... I thought the Shirelli administration did kind of a lousy job drafting, but to get a guy like that that low is, is definitely, you know, a testament to their organization. They also got Zach Gerardman with the last pick in that year's draft. You know, Mr. Relevant. So, um, you know, there's some really, really good players that can be had later in the draft. So, you know, good on the Bruins for, for grabbing two of them in that draft. And, you know, we'll uh, we'll see uh, what happens. Anyway, that's all. This episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the offseason and beyond. Later, guys.